everybody today we're gonna do full face of makeup using only one brand I'm just cleaning the cat hair from the table one brand so I chose to use NYX because it's affordable and you know I like affordable makeup and it's cruelty free so I think that everybody can enjoy it. so let's just begin for the base I'm gonna use this NYX matte finish I was trying to use it after I do my makeup and before I do my makeup I think it looks better if I do it before I do my makeup as a base I didn't bring the beauty blender all right we have our trusted beauty blender and as a foundation I'm gonna use this NYX stay matte but not flat liquid foundation in ivory that is my cat she's I don't know she's, she's been talking to somebody I think it's a spider, but anyway, it looks like this. I really like this one. I really like NYX foundations a lot. I don't like um, I don't like so much their concealers. I kind of don't understand them. Like they're saying that the full coverage, but they're not, and they crease a lot. This cat is like has some and mental issues. So. Don't mind that. I'm just gonna put music over it. I hope it's gonna like kill her. Not kill her, but her voice. I like how NYX has very pale foundations. They have really good range for pale people, purple, purple, purple people, <laughs> pale people, and I did kind of realize who's my cat fighting with, it's a ghost actually, She she's looking at something moving around the room, <laughs> and nothing is there, I hope. Then for the concealer, we're gonna use this NYX High Definition Concealer in their covers, the dark circles, but it kind of creases and gets very dry throughout the day you know like not very good <laughs> now that we're done with slapping our face I'm just gonna use this thing instead of a compact powder. This is NYX Soft Light Highlighter, but it's completely matte. It's like matte highlighter. It just looks like pressed powder. <laughs> Actually, it looks really good as a powder. I don't know why it is a highlighter. You know, when somebody says highlighter, I'm always thinking like, oh, you know, highlighter, shimmer, sparkle and stuff, but not like matte white. So I'm gonna use this as pressed powder I'm blind I put this brush into my eye <sighs> all the hazards of putting makeup on that looks pretty good to me probably not very good but it looks good to me I'm gonna my cat just knocked the camera off so I'm gonna use this NYX shimmer mauve pink and it's so beautiful I like putting this all over my face I did that quite a few times and it's just a beautiful roll-on stuff <laughs> it gives you this perfect shimmer you can use this as like standalone eyeshadow or you can just use it with some other eyeshadows like I'm gonna do today I'm just gonna combine some things I just put it all over like a little bit into my crease almost to my eyebrows but as I'm going to my eyebrows I just kind of loosen the grip and tightness. Look at that! I'm ready for the sun party. I'm ready to go to some party like this. This beautiful copper, it is called Fireball, but it's such a beautiful color. It's just, oh, I love it. And the thing about this is it looks very metallic, and it is, but when you put it like a few, a few layers of it, then it turns metallic. If you put just one layer, it's matte which I think it's pretty good, you know, you know, you get like variety of application in it. So I'm just gonna do the look at smoky eye with it because I already have this pink shimmer all over my eyelid. Add some more for the metallic effect. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush just to blend it a little bit more into the crease. My favorite eyeliner in the whole world. This is NYX Matte and it is in black. <laughs> so smart. And what I like about it, the brush is beautiful. It's just very precise, very thin, like I like it. And the handle is not very long. That's very, you know, when your handle is very long, it kind of gets wobbly and you kind of can't work with it. But this is good and it's matte. I like when eyeliners are matte, when they don't have this glare after you put it and it dries, you know, the, I hate the glare. That application is so smooth and so easy, so beautiful. I, ooh, I love it. Now we have to match the other eye. Wish me luck. add some more here you know that's how you get the raccoon eyes I'm gonna use this stick blush in shade magnolia and I think the stick blushes they kind of look more um, natural on the skin just pat it in you can um, smudge it with your beauty blender or your fingers as always, I'm just choosing my fingers to do something that is not supposed to be done with fingers. These kind of blushes, they last longer. They don't like stick to your skin and they're just sealed in it. They're there. You can't do anything about it. And if you put too much, you're fucked. Illuminator in shade Sunbeam. Such a beautiful thing. This is Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. It is such a beautiful thing. Look at that. And then you just start smudging it and tapping in. I, I'm not sure. I think that tapping is better than like smudging and just, you know. I'm still trying to like figure out how to work with it the best way. But it's so beautiful, so natural. It gives you this healthy glow. It doesn't make you like visible from the moon, but it just, it is quite subtle, but I really, really like it. Do you see the difference with, you know, you have this healthy, beautiful glow, and then no glow. Glow, no glow. And then I'm gonna use this NYX eyeliner in pink. They have like a beautiful range of eyeliners in colors like green and pink and white and golden. It's just, they're very pigmented, they're very good. And this one is in, it doesn't say, like GLA06, I have no idea, but it's like glam liner, it's just pink. What I like to do with this is just to highlight my inner corners. You just put it here on the, like your, lower line, not waterline, please don't put your liquid eyeliner on your waterline, like that. I made that line here and just like it draws the light towards my eyes and just make them like more awake. And then I put the line here. And here. I think it just adds really beautiful into your eyes and I got a lot of compliments at work on this look so I really like it and then for the mascara because we don't have a fucking mascara by NYX <laughs> mm, for eyelashes I'm just gonna use the NYX black eyeliner because why not I did this before <laughs> you know even for events you know I forgot my mascara to bring it along and do my makeup and then I was like what am I going to do now? I'm going to take the black eyeliner and just paint my eyelashes. You see? But it looks better. And to finish everything off, I'm going to use this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Berry Strudel. I'm not really crazy about glosses and something that's very sticky. This is sticky, too sticky for my taste, but I love the color. It's just so beautiful. Mm, look at 
looking bad. Look at that color, it doesn't match my eyes, but I don't give a fuck. I was never into matching my eyeshadow with my lipstick. I was, I was never into matching anything. My outfits, my colors, my, you know, whatever. I just like the clash things. You know, fuck the fashion rules and makeup rules and rules. Now comes the part what uh, the part that I don't really know how to do is How do people do this and and look normal? You know, like they look very natural while they're doing it. I'm just looking like you know, like awkward land. But I really like this makeup today and I'm ready to like enjoy not having lipstick on my teeth. I'm just gonna what, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit, I hope. To, like not transfer on my teeth anymore. But um I'm just not gonna do anything today. I'm gonna stay at home and work my night shift, but I can look fabulous, right? I love you all so so much and I will see you very very soon.